Cancer. Hi, lovely. <laughs> Hi, mommy and puppies. Oops, all right. Let me get this fixed. Hello, Cancerian. Mommy, Cancerian puppy. Welcome back to my channel. Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. I hope you like my setup. I hope you like the the ambiance of my setup here now i'm going to do your love reading cancer amazing this is cancer and energy full-fledged the four of cups the four of hearts because the four is the fourth house cancer and you're the fourth house right so that's topping your reading let us get started with the messages here cancer i hope that you are well welcome to my channel all right I get that. Where do I start? So I'm going to start from here and then I want to say what your outcome is because that's how it's supposed to go naturally. But these cards are all over the place. So let me get it out. So the baseline of your reading cancel is that you're so amazing. You're beautiful. You are in your own element. So this is a love reading, but I don't feel like you're really focusing on love a lot. You're not focusing on any person in love right now. If you are, I didn't get to see that. So maybe another love reading, I'll get to focus on what you are focus focusing on in love. But right now I see that you're really focusing on yourself. You're being so beautiful. During the reading, I was getting an impression as if you could be a goddess just out in the forest doing what you're doing picking flowers bathing in the river just being so beautiful so that's your energy you're just really tuning into your divine intuition really just loving on yourself not by force but by nature just being a cancerian nurturing intuitive connecting to the divine just loving yourself so i'm saying you could be cleaning the house and it is as if you're doing with doing it with all of yourself all of the beauty in the world so I see your person actually looking at you, just watching you, admiring you, appreciating you in that energy that you're giving. Like you could just be sweeping the floor and you're doing it with the sunshine and with the stars, with the earth, with the moon, with the ocean, with the river, with the flowers, the bees and the trees. It's that energy that you are carrying with you and your person is just off to one side, just, just looking at you, admiring and appreciating you. It is as if your person is seeing you in this brand new way for the first time. They've never really be, beheld you in this manner before. And it's so attractive to them to see you. I feel like I could be talking to a female cancer because it's giving me real female vibrations here. Like that natural feminine essence, that empress feeling like you're just out there in the forest, just doing your thing, beauty. Just really living in accordance and in alignment with your cancerian nature. Picking flowers, like everything you're doing, you're doing it with your whole self, Cancer. That's what I'm feeling. And it feels beautiful. As if you are a goddess and then there's this person watching you in the forest bathing, like one of those mythology stories. Just in awe of you. That is how your person is feeling about you. They are very turned on by you. They're really turned on by you watching you. Remember this 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 is the, <laughs> the card that represents horniness or, you know, just being excitable about a person. Like their heart is racing in their chest. They're sweating. They love what they're seeing when they're looking at you. It's like they're being glowed up just by watching you be so natural and beautiful. There's this lingering energy between the both of you of something that happened in the past. That there's a, like an energy still there present. I don't feel like you are focusing on that energy because you're really into just into into yourself. So into the deeper parts of your reading, I see that this person that's looking at you could be something or someone, I'm sorry, someone from the past that have caused you pain cancer. And it, the pain could have been caused because they are so in touch with their high sexuality. They didn't have control of their sense of sexuality their energy their sexual energy and so it may have caused you some pain in the past but you're not focusing on the past anymore which is beautiful it's as if you are more more grounded 
I see you being so much more solid, grounded, knowing your worth in your heart space. You're no longer being told that you're just emotional. You're standing in yourself. You're not even looking for validation, Cancerian, from anyone. You're just so beautiful, so powerful, knowing who you are. Grounded in your values. Holding on to your heart space, protecting yourself. Not giving in, not, not feeling inhibited anymore because you've been told that your heart space is too emotional. You're just, you're just not inhibited. You're just being beautiful, going out. I, I just want, I'm just envisioning you in a forest, picking flowers, barefooted, being so beautiful. And your person is off one side, just looking at you through the bushes like, oh my God, what an angel, what a goddess. So your person could be going internally now because justice, justice knocked at your door, beauty. Justice came through and like, this person damaged that godly flower. So that's what justice said. Justice was like, how dare you damage the flower, this beautiful flower of God. Like, you're, you're a flower that is supposed to be in nature because you have healing wonders about you. Right, so it's like you have healing wonders about you. So <laughs> it, the angels were like, how could this person be hurting this flower? So they sent in your sense of value. And even to this person, they, they try to really highlight a sense of value even in your person. So they will see you from a higher perspective. So this is you being blessed with riches and abundance and, and just contentment and feeling a sense of high value. And it came in with the justice card. Like you deserve to know the truth of who you are, Cancer, instead of being trampled on. I feel like this person, they know that they broke you as if they just walked past a beautiful flower and they broke you and they realized, but they kept walking. And so the next time they pass the same flower, a couple of days later, it's, it's, you know, it's flourishing even more beautifully. And they're wondering to themselves, like, how come, how come this flower that I broke two days ago is, is flourishing even more beautifully now? That's how they're looking at you, just astounded by your, your strength, your courage, your wisdom, your grace, your beauty. They don't know that it's because you've been blessed by the universe. They may have had broken your heart. I mentioned that before, but it is past. It is that this energy that you went through with this person is behind you. And I feel like it was to really instate a sense of value in both of you. I know it's not hard to accept that a person hurting with another person could really be for your benefit. But think of it that way. I think it's like this, this energy brought in an ending to you feeling like not having value like the angels want you to know who you are they want you to know you deserve real true abundant love so your person now seeing all of this your person could be um out also in a headspace of thinking of the hurt that they caused you they could be the ones that's really thinking of how they did you wrong with this other person the other person that they're hurting with is watching you. I have a, a high sense that the person that they hurt you with admires you. They admire your strength, your courage, your grace, the virtues that you hold. I don't know what you're doing so that this, maybe you're on a platform that this person can really look up at you. Maybe you have a platform online or something. But the person that your person hurt you with, both of them have a way of looking at you. They have a way of admiring you, Cancer. And this is especially because you have stepped out of a victim mentality and is now embracing your true self. So, yeah, your person now, because you're, be you're beaming so beautifully and you're being so strong, is going inside of themselves. This could be, the person that hurt you could be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or another Cancer. They could be just going inside of themselves, you know figuring out how to come to you i see that someone wants to come into you with um to be just and fair so they're trying they're going inside with a lot of force they're doing it with um with great energy and and, and 
they, they're doing it with in a sense that they really they're really focusing on going in themselves to figure out how to come to you as if they've made you know a priority like you've now been established in this person's headspace as someone that they want to get to it could be that they're really just turned on by you just really attracted to you and it's figuring how to really get to you as if you're just a lily pod blooming on the on the on the lake and there's so there are some frogs out here that want to jump on your lily pod cancer but you're so grounded and, and stable and the universe has your back and i believe that you've been grounding yourself in your intuition that you will know how to let in or to reject anything that is not serving you how to let in what is good for you all the time being graceful so your person is going inside figuring out how to be more stable more grounded have more a, more of a sense of control over themselves you know over their actions over their manifestations because they don't want to really create a sense of distrust between you two anymore because I do realize that this person knows that they hurt they like trampled on a flower that is very special in earth right now they are feeling their they're facing their calm their karma because of this but you didn't fall because of their it is more them that is suffering because of what they did to you than you being hurt this actually empowers you cancer it's a beautiful reading we have a lot of beautiful cards out here. You more focusing on yourself, loving on yourself, trusting who you are, not letting doubts and fears and past experiences govern over your life, but grounding in your heart, knowing yourself. The outcome of your life is the Ten of Pentacles, which is riches and glory, contentment, family life. And so the next reading, I'll be focusing on who you're real, who you are focusing on, Cancer. And that is the end of your reading. Right, so the outcome of your reading is the Ten of Pentacles, the Empress card here, which is you standing beautifully in your power, well aligned. Your person is just doing what they're doing. I feel like this is a person from your past or that is currently in your life, but you're not really giving or devoting much of your energy to this relationship anymore. You're focusing it internally, working to really establish that sense of love within yourself so that you can give your love to someone who really, really deserves it and honors you. That is all I have for you in your love reading today, Cancer. I really hope that this message hits home, you know, resonates with you. And it's also an inspiration. If you enjoy this message, please do like my video and subscribe to my channel for more messages coming up in the week. And until then, much love to you always. Love, love, love you. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bless you.